Hello everyone and thanks for watching. This is episode 19 of our MTCNA course and in this very short video we're going to talk about the identity of our devices. We'll first go over the places where you can find the identity of connected devices in router OS and then show you the two ways used to set or change your router identity. The very first place where you can see the identity of your devices is the neighbors tab in the main Winbox window where the identity of all discoverable devices are listed. Also, once you connect to any device via Winbox, the identity of that specific device will be visible on the ribbon at the top of the window. Moreover, if you click on New Terminal in Router OS, the identity of your device will be shown at the beginning of your command line. Next, if you refer to the system menu and the identity submenu, you will have direct access to your device's identity. And finally, if you go to the IP menu and the neighbor's submenu, thanks to neighbor discovery, you will be able to see the identity of the neighboring devices that are visible throughout your connected network. In our trainee router, which is still running on router OS version 6, the identity submenu can also be found on their system and the neighbor submenu can similarly be found under IP. To change the identity of your router, you can choose either of two ways. You can refer to the identity submenu and change the name of your router directly from there. As you can see, the identity shown at the top of the class AP window, as well as the class AP identity listed in the neighbor's window on the trainee router, change immediately. However, a new terminal you'll have to press enter once for this identity change to take effect. Also, you can use new terminal to change your router's identity. By typing in the command system identity, you will access the identity submenu. By typing print and pressing enter, you can see the identity of your device. To change it, you simply need to type system identity followed by the set name command. After you type in your desired identity and press enter, the identity on the new terminal will change immediately. Similarly, this change will apply in all other places where the router's identity is visible. The same command can be used in router OS version 6 as well. As you can see, there is a slight difference between the command lines of router OS version 6 and 7. In version 7, a forward slash is used to separate command levels, which can probably facilitate reading the commands. As always, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments section. Also, if you enjoy our content, please make sure you subscribe. See you in the next episode.